Hello! Hello and welcome to another Scottish Car Enthusiasts on the Driveway. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to how to do a simple, effective, tidy up modification to these rusty brake calipers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to go about doing this. So, first up, you're going to need a little box for like your wheel bolts. You're going to need a wheel brace to remove the wheel, the wheel nuts. You'll need a tin of hammerite paint. This can be any colour of your choice. So this is hammered silver, keeping, in, keeping with the colour of this car which is silver. You're going to need some brake and clutch cleaner. You're going to need a paintbrush. And I'd also just advise getting a cup. A uh, mug you're not going to use, fill it up with some turps or white spirit so you can be able to clean the brush between doing the, doing the calipers and you'll need a trolley jack and I've just brought out a, an old alloy that I have that um, I'm going to just put under the car you can also use axle stands but I don't actually have axle stands but I've done this, on, I've done this a few times now I'm just going to use just an alloy. So the first step is to remove your wheel bolts and you also need your lock and wheel nut key. So first step is remove your bolts and put them in your box like so. Now the next part is, sorry I should have said you actually loosen so loosen your wheel bolts, I usually just take the lock and wheel nut off first but just loosen off all the other bolts um, and then it's time to jack up your car as Mighty Car Mods would say Now when using a trolley jack I wouldn't suggest you using it here because this is like a sort of plastic so what I tend to do with the trolley jack is I'm looking for this bit under here. You can see it. I'd suggest see my hand jacking up here under the car. Nice and solid. And jack it up from there. So let's jack up the car. just really want to get the wheel just off the ground slightly to uh, you in. I think that will do. So the next step is just to take off your remaining wheel nuts you can just use your brace for this. That's the wheel beginning to come away now. So I'm just going to take the still still with it. and just get ready to take the last one out, just support it when it comes off. So now, just place your alloy wheel just under the, the disc 
and you can sort of see the stay that this one's in. Now I just I've done the passenger one just not that long ago. And I think the passenger one was the caliper was in better condition than this. Um it looked a lot newer. So I'm guessing this is the original caliper. So I'll just go ahead, go ahead and give it a clean. So just take your brake cleaner. Just give it a nice dousing. Cleaner. There we go. And these are actually these are safe to use on the brakes. So if you get a wee bit on the discs, it's not going it's not going to affect the braking performance. Whatever you do, never put WD-40 on your discs or clean your brakes with WD-40 because you could be asking for a lot of trouble there. So the next stage is we'll just let this dry off a wee bit and we'll start to paint it. What to mention before you paint it, just give it a wee scrub over with a scouting pad or a wire brush. So we're just going to start with a painting process. So, as I said, you can use you can use like special brake caliper paint. Um, but I've found in the past that hammerite paint's just as good. So we're just painting here. It's not it's not going to be show worthy, but if you look at it just to tidy up these rusty brakes, um, when I can when. There's no harm in just slapping a wee coat of... We slap a coat of hammerite on it. Now originally I was going to do these blue, but unfortunately when I came to find the blue paint, when I disturbed it a couple of weeks ago to see if I could use it, it had formed a hard skin on it and what had happened was... Um, took a temp peg to break through the, the hard skin and uh, pierced a hole in the bottom of the tin. And I found out yesterday when I came to get my paint out in preparation of this. So I decided I had another look to see what I had in the shed. And I had black, which didn't have a very lot, and I had silver. And I think the last car I painted with um, calipers was my. Just gonna sound daft. I think it was my Kia, my Kia Seed. So that's going back three, four years ago. And I'm amazed that this paint's actually survived. Anyhow, I shall come back shortly with a further step. So that's the first coat done. And it's not looking too bad, to be quite honest. I could take a second coat will give it a wee bit, a wee bit a better look, but I'm quite happy with how it's looking now. When it comes to doing like the back caliper, you can sort of paint this wee hop around the edge of a disc. To make it go to match the colour of the car. Um, but never never paint the disc. Um, I think these back discs are gonna get an upgrade shortly, I think. But never never paint the discs. It's okay if you get a couple of these spots on it, it'll, it'll rub off with the, the pads when the brakes are applied. But this is my next job later on in the day. And another top tip is when you've got the tyre off, or the wheel off the car, just have a look. This has happened to me in the past a couple of times. Just check the condition of the tyre. If you've got any punctures in it, or nails in it, 
it could be causing a puncture. But this one looks okay. So that's a bonus. Put that back there. So this is after two coats now. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that. It's certainly an improvement over what was there before. Oh, what we had before. So I'm happy with that. Now that the caliper's back, caliper's been painted. It's time to get the wheels back on. So top tip for me is I always start with a locker. Just put it in the bottom. And I go diagonally across. Just get them finger tight. And diagonally across there again to this one. Now that I've got the bolts finger tight, I'm just going to use the brace just to tighten them a wee bit more before I drop the jacks. So, all bolts are on the car, so we're just going to lower the jack, the trolley jack, so... Just be careful when you do this because the car will all drop quite suddenly. Get the bolt on, and the jack will come out to me, yeah. That's that. Um, and just a wheel wrench now. And just give them a quick, because some of them are finger tight, I just want to give them a quick, just want to quick go do and tighten them like that. And just say I've done all five now. Um, I just check the bolts again after approximately 50 miles or after a week. Um, just go around all your wheels again, give them a quick retighten. So, costs for this sort of modification. You're probably looking, if you've got the tools, materials, you're probably looking about a tenner for a tub of hammerite paint and maybe about £13 with a brake cleaner. So, but this little modification or cosmetic um, modification don't only cost me the brake cleaner really because I had all the other tools so this this one cost me £13 but I would say budget £25 for the paint and brake cleaner you can you can you can use that um, in the standard car wheel brace you can use a car standard jack as well um, if you've, if you've not done it before, if you've got a spare wheel, then I'd recommend just putting the spare wheel under the the brakes, the brakes, just in case something, in case the car does drop, then it's got something just to drop onto. It's not of a great height.